Hello booktube, it is Benjamin Barnes here and today I am reviewing Age of Satan, book number two in the Age of God Punk Anthology by James Lovegrove. Um, it was it's kind of, it wasn't a very good novella, it was kind of Omen-esque. Um, if you've ever seen the movie The Omen, you don't need to read the novella. Um, I guess they all have that weird kind of vibe to them, but I didn't much care for it. There was not really much original material. It was as though he took something from The Exorcist, something from The Omen, something from this, from the Ouija experiment, or something like that. Um, so it's pretty much like a hodgepodge of other people's stuff. So that was the kind of plagiarist kind of thing. But uh, it was an original story, but it had all this stuff coming in from around. Um, another issue I have with the story is it jumped from decade to decade to decade. There was not a coherent timeline. It was... He's a little kid in school. Um, he's a te late teens, early adulthood, and then it just kept getting over and over and over again. Um, the ironic part is in the beginning of the book, he made a deal with the devil. Um, spoiler alert, and he eventually formed his own political party known as the Black Flame Party. And then it became a political party both in the UK and the United States. It felt like a long read, even though it was probably only 140 pages. Um, I gave it two stars on Goodreads because it wasn't... The premise was cool, but the story did not deliver. But it was interesting in the storyline to see a, how a small mistake as a child can follow someone all the way through their life. Um, there were several chapters dedicated to... Um, relationships and the stuff that comes along with it um, these chapters were not necessary for the storyline I don't really see it in a lot of sci-fi or or how sex in any way helps the storyline come along it's just something like they throw in for feller uh, so I anything with that makes me uncomfortable when I like to read it um, and it was an age of Satan is how it ends. So the devil really doesn't take any part in it. The guy's kind of paranoid. He sees Satan in every little thing, every little person. So there was that. Now, um, the main character's name is Guy Lucas. And he goes to a boarding school. And then it just, the devil follows him through his life. He eventually has to confront the devil to confront himself. The story wasn't very good, but if you like God Punk, um, then it might be, but I don't know many people that actually read God Punk. I'm probably the only person on BookTube that I've seen review anything by him. But then again, I'm not on BookTube all the time. And there's a picture of the cover, even though it's in black and white, you can barely see it. Uh, so it was generic Satanism, but it does in one chapter explain the difference between Luciferian Satanism and just Anton LaVeyan Satanism. Which was interesting because anybody who's read the Satanic Bible knows that his form of Satanism is nothing but mental masturbation. Okay, uh, so thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and I appreciate your watching.